Derry. And you know your radio and you know your Scotty McClure. Exactly. I've been listening to you for 30 years, Scotty. You know, and that's a real speciality. It was interesting because what we did, as somebody said, Scotty, right, I got two things. I think I told you a compliment from the, the chief executive. He said, thank you for turning a half million pound project into 26 million pound success story. That was one. So that's that's the business side happy. The other one uh, was somebody said, Scotty, you introduced a whole generation to radio listening. So you had you had people who were really quite bereft since the BBC to off things like the McFlannels and uh, Jimmy Shand and that stuff. They'd loved all that kind of stuff. And then when that got taken off, they were kind of floundering for radio listening. Did you ever see Kenneth McKellar at the Ashfield Club? No, I didn't see him at the Ashfield Club, but I loved Kenneth McKellar. I abs and still to this day, he is exceptional. I mean, I know Kenneth's passed away now, but his voice was exceptional. And as a student, I can remember being very excited seeing Kenneth coming in to talk to the head of singing. There always were things that always meant that's just Scotty. Whatever happened with the nation when you were on nation? Did that just come to an abrupt No, I'll tell you what happened there. They were struggling to staff it at the weekend. The staff were quite thin on the ground and they obviously valued their weekend. And then, you know, they, they were suddenly hit with this uh, Friday night late, Saturday night late, Sunday night late, big phone-in show. So I could I could just tell that some of the staff were going, oh, huh, oh this is getting a bit much. Well, they obviously don't know how successful you are. And they no, like no, they hadn't. They weren't able to work that out. And they should have been, actually, because one of the big bosses <laughs> knew McClure well. I mean, who wouldn't be part of it? Who, who wouldn't want to be part of it? Scott and McClure phone in. It's very, very <laughs> strange, but, I mean, that's what you get. And, uh, you know, I just knew, I thought, if, if if you get somebody who's a music programmer into this, I don't have a chance. What you should do is put an ad on the Facebook and look for another lovable lassie. Yes, that was it. Because I remember when I was at my height, somebody went to one of the big bosses, a programmer, a music programmer, and said, uh -huh. should I tell Scotty about this? He said, you don't touch Scotty. He said, all right. He said, you you run the, the, the normal cars. You don't touch the roller. Oh, 